Portland just couldn't quite pick it up. Caught with the three ball to O'Neill. O'Neill has a delicious ball to the edge of the 18 yard box. Team and McGonagall could do nothing about it, but Ben Doherty is arriving late now at the back post. McGonagall gets a flashing shot. Jordan McAniff trying to double his tally from last week, but it's eventually cleared by the Lee Siders, and it's going to be a throw in to Derry City. Patching. Patching steps away from the challenge of Bulger. Finds Ben Doherty. McAniff continues to run, but Bulger. Doherty with a flashing shot, testing the palms of Toby Oluwayemi on loan from Celtic B for the season. Young 19 year old in goal for Cork. As Patrick McElhaney loses out there. That's going to be a Derry City throw one. Yeah, keeper did well there. We'll see their reply here now. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Ben Doherty, that this is what he's going to bring to Derry City. It's just a scramble for the ball at the moment as uh, Patching looking for a yard of space, but he's been talked out of it. O'Neill does well against it. Crowley. Patrick McElhaney shapes himself for the shot. Oh! and buries it into the bottom left-hand corner, past the outstretched arm of Oluwayemi. Derry City 1, Cork City 0. We did talk about Derry having what? Both fullbacks are now on both touchlines. That's how far Derry are spreading Cork from one side to the other. We do work it well when it comes to stretching teams. Jamie McGonagall does well, finds one lead. O'Neill, oh, he's heard the shout of Ben Doherty. Doherty continues his run. Doherty Shit. ships himself on his left. Oh, it was just beggingly wide of the Cork goal. The score remains Derry City 1, Cork City 0. No. I have to say, O'Neill's positioning is fantastic. He's in that space right in between the fullback and the centre half that neither fullback nor centre half wants to go on the, And he knows, he doesn't even have to look, he knows that Ben Doherty is out there on his own and with acres of space. Bulger's actually done well for Cork in the middle there. He's getting through a lot, a lot of work. I mean, look look at the players that he's playing against, Mac and F. Patchy and, and Patrick, three highly technical players who can keep it all day. So, oh, oh. Balls flicked on to Varian. Varian gets his shot away, but... Save. Brian Maher makes himself big and makes the save. Rory Keating trying to shift on to his left but doesn't quite come off for him. There's another foul. That was O'Neill. But yeah, uh, it's Shane McElhaney who's down that uh, Damien McGrath is making sure. Well, if we can see a replay, that is Cork's best chance of the match. I mean, you see there, Ben just, he just caught in the turn and it's a great chance. Patrick turns away from the attention of Keating and spreads it. Over to Kieran Cole on that far right hand side. Cole immediately looking for Ryan Graydon. Graydon gets his cross on the box and it's helped on its way by Jordan McAniff. He adds to his tally following the goal he got last week against St. Patrick's Athletic. It's Derry City 2, Cork City 0 in the 63rd minute here at the Brandywell. Brilliant, and again, one touch football the whole time, quick, concise, and you saw Ryan Graydon when he gets into that final third, and when he gets in behind the fullback, he's, he's, he's his end product is getting much, much better. He's looked, he's picked his head up. He hasn't tried to drive to the by byline. He's picked his head up. He's seen McEnough just inside the box, and he's drilled the ball. What's this for a, 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 a pass? He's just drilled it right across, and I have to say from McEnough, what, that is not easy, because I tell you, most players, what they do is they, they swipe at that ball, they try and bust the ball, but he's just guided it. As his momentum's taken it, he's just guided it into the far post, and the keeper's got no chance. Great finish. Ball's launched under the edge of the 36 yard box, headed away by Patrick McElhinney. Doing a sterling job with the armband, but Rory Keating, oh, he's just got him behind the Derry back line. He was one on one with the keeper, maybe seen the headlines and got shocked by them. And he just could not squeeze the ball past Brian Maher as he come out and just gathers the ball and smothers the danger away from the Westport man. Coleman, can you take it out? Oh, it's a mistake. And Brian Maher does well, just keeps it off the the, the what, goalie. What, that's it. what a save that, that is. There. That's incredible. It was the header back. I think it was Ben Doherty yeah. who headed it back. But uh, but the question is, does he get a shout? So right here, Ben sees... Oh, it's in the air already. A double substitution from Rory Higgins. There's no more activity on the Derry bench at the moment. So happy with what they've got. Doherty whips it into the edge of the six-yard box. Wolf Patching can't quite get anything on it. And Cork can advance again. Nice ball from Keating. 
finds Krasic. Krasic and say the 18 yard box on a taking a touch it's from safe. Brian Maher. They it's touch safe. it over the bar, and that's going to be a corner at the opposite end of the park. I have to say, Krasic is quick. I was watching him defend against Ryan Graydon about 10 minutes before that, and he was able to catch him. And, he, and when he came up against Cole there, I was worried he was going to get done the outside, and that's exactly what happened. The good thing is the angle was just too difficult for him to keep it low, so he's trying to put it high, and it's a great save by Brian Maher. Kian Kiavno will take it back, but uh, I think that's probably the last bit of action we may see as the ball's played forward. Oh, well, Labe loses out. Patrick McNeely coming on behind him. Keating gets a flashing shot away. Comes off the chest of Brian Maher. And he'll happily just play down the seconds. Tell you what, Brian Maher's done well there. Because actually, take, it's, it's, it, there's a deflection off yeah. Shane McElhinney there on his chest. Um, so he's done well to, to watch that the whole way and, and get it into his hands. I think this will be the last kick of the game as Brian Maher clears downfield. Damien McGrath puts the whistle to his lips. And brings proceedings to a close. So, the first half was a very flat affair until the 31st minute when Patrick Magalini put the ball beyond the outstretched hand of uh, Toby Oluwayemi to open the scoring for Derry City. It stayed like that until half time, despite Derry's attempts to try and get a second before the opening 45 were up. The second half, again, Derry came out of the blocks a bit stronger than Cork City, and they got their just reward in the 63rd minute when Jordan McAneff done really well, again, getting his shot beyond the Cork keeper to make a 2 0. Derry City ruled their luck a few times. Uh, Rory Keating fluffed a chance for Cork City. Tundi Owalabi could make no difference from the bench. So it's finished here at the Brandywell. Derry City 2, Cork City 0.